Hi everybody, welcome to Living Life for July 28. Today we're going to be looking at the response of the redeemed. We're going to be in Psalm 116. Let me say something about Psalms. The Psalms is a book of passion. It's a book of emotion. It's a book of celebration as well as a book of lament and weeping. But there is much emotion in Psalms. And in Psalm 116, the psalm emotion is gratitude. Something happened in the life of David. Something happened in the life of the writer of Psalm 116, where their cup with wrath was running over with gratitude and gratefulness and thankfulness and joy to the Lord for everything that he had done in his life, in their life. So as we go through one Psalm 116 today, it is my desire that you catch a little bit of that gratefulness and gratitude and joy and celebration and happiness. Uh, so let's get into the scripture. We're in Psalm 116, so let's read it now. Psalm chapter 116, verses 12 through 19. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. You know, in Psalm 116, verse 12, it states a question, and the question is, what can I do to repay God for all the goodness he has done in my life? And it's something that, you know, King David has said and thought before. You remember the occasion when David became king and he was on the throne, and he said, is there a descendant of Saul that I can bless? And they found Mephibosheth, who was uh, King Saul's nephew, that was, uh, you know, um, his legs weren't working properly, and they brought him to David, and David blessed him, and he gave him land, he gave him a house, he gave him a seat at the table. You know, David was that kind of man. He had that kind of attitude. You know, who do I owe for helping me? Who helped me? Who, who supported me? So in the same way, in the same fashion, David wants to repay the biggest person in his life the biggest person that helped them and blessed them. And you know who that biggest person is? I know somebody might say it's their mother. I'd say it's my mom. But even more than my mom, the biggest person is God. So David begins here by saying, how can I repay God for all the big and beautiful things that he has done in my life? So in this Psalm 116, he is full of gratefulness. He is full of gratitude. So the question is, how did he get there? How did David develop a heart of gratefulness and a heart of gratitude? Because there's a lot of people today in our society that are burnt out. There are a lot of people that are tired. You know, they fight traffic to go to work. They got to get up early in the morning, got to pay the bills. They got to get the kids to school. So there's a lot of people today that are burnt out. And many times we're not grateful. You know, I am so blessed because I live in the United States. You know, I am so blessed just to live in this country and be a citizen of this country. And every person that lives here, if they were born here or not, you know, we should all be walking around saying, wow, we are so appreciative of being in this country. But the fact of the matter is that there are people that are not appreciative. They're not grateful. They complain, they whine, they have pity party. They have a bad attitude. But yet David had this attitude of gratefulness, right? He was grateful and thankful for everything that God had given him. 
And I asked the question, how did David get there? How did he become so grateful? And I think it was because David had time to have peace. He had time to think. He had time to meditate. He had time to pray. He had time to praise God. He had time in God's presence. And the more time you spend in prayer, and the more time you spend with God, and the more time you spend in His presence, your heart of stone will be turning into a heart of flesh. And your attitude's going to change. Instead of being bitter and burnt out and stressed out, you're going to start developing more gratefulness, more gratitude, more joy, more celebration. So in Psalm 116, the verses that we read, uh, I really uh, liked verse 13, where it talks about, you know, uh, we lift up the cup of salvation. So he was grateful for his salvation. But for me, verse 13 is a messianic verse. It's talking about Jesus. It's talking about Christ, right? It's talking about Jesus. This is a foreshadow. This is prophetic. Because remember when Jesus was at the Last Supper with his disciples and he had the cup and he raised the cup and he told his disciples to drink of the cup because it's his blood which is shed for us. It is the new covenant. Well, here we are hundreds of years before, almost a thousand years before, and David writes this psalm alluding to Christ saying, man, the most important thing that I'm grateful for is my salvation. You know, David could have been thankful the fact that he was king, that he had gold, that he had silver, that he had a palace, that he had an army, that he had a beautiful land. But you know what was the most that he was grateful for? Was his salvation. And I really like that about the text. And then the final thing that I'm going to mention here in our um, meditation today is David says to the Lord, I want to fulfill my vows. The way I'm going to show my gratitude and my gratefulness to the Lord is that I want to fulfill my vows. So what are these vows that David had to fulfill? Well, number one, he had his religious vows, his ceremonial vows. A good Jew, you know, every day, every week, at every high holy day, he had to go to the temple and offer his sacrifice. So David was saying to the Lord, you know, God, I'm going to show you that I'm committed. I'm going to show you that I'm grateful. I'm going to show you that I'm thankful. I'm going to go to your house. I'm going to go to the temple every day, and I'm going to bring my sacrifice. I'm going to bring my offering. I'm going to fulfill all my promises and all my commitments that I made to you to show you that I'm grateful. So that's a word to you. That's a word to me. This is a message for all of us today. If we are grateful, and if we have gratitude towards God, it's not just a feeling, it's not just an emotion, but it's you and me fulfilling our promises to God. Amen? Going to church, giving, stewardship, evangelism, discipleship, prayer, investing in other ministries. Fulfill those vows, my friends, and show God your gratefulness and your gratitude. So let's close. You know, as we close in prayer, uh, Psalm 116, verse 12, where it asks that question, what can, we, what can we do? What can I do to repay the Lord's goodness? You know, that's a rhetorical question. And the fact of the matter is, there's nothing we can do to repay God our salvation. You know, the gift of salvation uh, is priceless. You know, it is unearned. It is a gift that is given to us. So in a way, it's a rhetorical question that there is nothing that we can do to repay it. But what we can do is we can show God our gratefulness. We can show God our gratitude by staying faithful to the vows, the commitments, and to the promise that we've made them. So don't be afraid. Don't have fear in your heart that you can't follow through and you can't be the believer that God wants you to be. It's by faith that we walk, my friend. So let's put our faith and trust in the Lord that we're going to walk a life that's worthy of our calling. So let's pray together. 
So Heavenly Father God, we receive this word, this study here today, this reflection. Uh, we all have an obligation, Lord God, and this obligation to you is to be faithful to our commitment to you, to the promises we've made, to the vows we've made to you. And, and Father God, this is the essence of worship. In Romans 12, it talks about us presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. Help us every day, every morning, every noon, every night, to lay our bodies on the altar as a sacrifice, Lord. We say no to sin, we say no to temptation, and we say yes to you and to do what is right. And that is how we show you our gratefulness and our gratitude for the most wonderful gift of salvation. We pray this now in Christ's name. Amen. 이 프로그램은 시청자 여러분의 소중한 후원으로 제작됩니다. 